Hello and welcome to E-Prime. I'm Crystal. Floral tribute at the National Heroes Park this morning was among the activities set for Miss Lou Day. In her message to mark this national commemoration of the 98th anniversary of the birth of the Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley, Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport, the Honorable Olivia Grange says that the government's plans are moving ahead to establish the Miss Lou Square in Gordontown, St. Andrew, in tribute to the mother of Jamaican culture. And I take great pride in announcing that the Public Investment Management Secretary at PIMSEC has approved the establishment of Miss Lou Square in Gordontown, a lasting tribute to the Honorable Louise Bennett Coverley. The centerpiece of Miss Lou Square will be a statue of the cultural icon to be completed in time for her 100th birthday. During this month, we will highlight a rich and diverse catalogue of work. Now, Thank You Miss Lou, a tribute concert, is underway at the Louise Bennett Garden Theatre. And of course, E-Prime will have highlights tomorrow. The Damien Marley Stony Hill Tour is in full swing. Marley kicked off his fall tour on September 1 in Minneapolis, USA. And tonight he performs to another sold-out crowd in New York. Now, Damien took a detour to make a guest appearance with Jay-Z on the 2017 Made in America Festival in Philadelphia, performing their collab, Bam, from Jay-Z's 444 album. A nice high for his Stony Hill Tour, which runs until October 20, and features Kabaka Pyramid and the Bebel Rockers on select dates. Fans can expect some favorites along with new music from Marley's fourth studio album, which is, by the way, 12 years after its predecessor, Welcome to Jamrock. Stony Hill, which was released in July, is the usual polished production with social commentary about the power of people, love, and Damien's latest sensitizing campaign on medical marijuana. Rolling Stone, speaking about the album, says it's a reminder that reggae remains a potent pop force, especially when it's in the hands of a master. Devin the Doctor and Corey Todd have managed to work out their differences, sparing each other a legal battle in criminal court. Todd's attorney, Peter Champagny, broke the news yesterday, saying the charge of assault was dismissed after a brief mediation session between the two men at the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. According to Champagny, his client, businessman Corey Todd, who was charged for allegedly assaulting the entertainer on January 18 last year at Todd's club, apologized to Devin for the misunderstanding. Look what you made me do. True words from singer Taylor Swift, who smashed the Billboard dreams of Despacito. Taylor sits in this week's number one spot, according to Billboard, denying Despacito a 17-week run, which would have broken the highest record of 16 weeks at number one, set by Mariah Carey back in 1995 with One Sweet Day. Taylor Swift's debut single, Look What You Made Me Do, is from her forthcoming Reputation album. The song, however, did not debut at the top of the chart, but managed to climb. And so the Justin Bieber, Louis Fonzi, and Daddy Yankee Spanish single, produced by DJ Khaled, had to settle for a record tie. And that's it for E-Prime as we continue to pray for our Caribbean neighbors affected by Hurricane Irma. I'm Crystal. Thanks for watching.